Hi dear all students. I hope you understand third lesson all point explanation from various videos. Now today we start with a exercise work which I will explain and few answers I will give in a note form with attachment. See student one by one question explanation is here. Question number one fill in the blanks with the appropriate term. In brackets some terms are given student. These terms you have to read properly and out of that which is suitable for that fill. That will be your answer. Sometime same word same term can be repeated at more places and sometimes some terms not used in a single time also. So we have to fill only appropriate. See in brackets the terms are students temperature, volume, mass, density, humidity, acidic, weight, neutral and shape. See the first sentence to complete is a. The capacity of air to hold moisture depends upon the, yes, answer will be humidity, humidity of the air. So, from bracket you have to write here as a humidity and double underline it or underline it. This will come in exam for 1-1 one, one mark, fill in the blanks. Second one, B. Water does not have a dash dash but has definite dash dash and dash dash. So first you have to write water does not have shape. Yes, water don't have shape. When we put that water in any glass or jar or whatever the pot, the shape will be like that. So, water does not have a shape but has definite mass and yes, mass and density. Third one, C. While freezing, the density of water lowered. So, what I told you student, some words we have to repeat. So, here density will be repeated. And the last one is D. The answer for D you will write down neutral. Neutral soil has pH 7. So, this is our question number 1 from with the help of terms which given in bracket. We have to complete this sentence. Question number two. Why is it said that? Why is it said that? In short, you can write student answers of these questions in a point wise manner. I will try to give the answers in a writing form in notes. So, for your explanation, for your understanding, I am explaining the meaning of this question, students. I will try to give you answers also in a writing way, in a written form through notes. So, don't worry. First question is here. Air is a homogeneous mixture of various gases. Why is it said that asa ka mantat? Why? That is we have to write because that like a give reason. So answer will be here. There are many constituent gases in the air and they are in the form of mixture. The separate existence of each gas is not felt. We totally say it's as a air. The individual gases cannot be separate so easily. It required a lot work. So, whatever air in our surrounding is there, 
इट्स अ मिक्सचर ऑफ वेरियस गैसेस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ऑक्सीजन लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ नाइट्रोजन हाइड्रोजन सो दीज ऑल आर अवेलेबल इन एयर सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज यूनिवर्सल सो यू ट्राई स्टूडेंट बिफोर मी ऑल्सो प्लीज आफ्टर लिसनिंग दिस वीडियोज यू ट्राई टू राइट आंसर्स इन योर ओन वर्डिंग्स दिस हैबिट really helpful to you through this habit you can make correct scientific sentence you can uh, make habit of writing point wise answers you will get idea in paper how to write by your own way paper don't by heart student don't by heart understand and write in like maths you are solving by your brain same way you do in science also understand the concept and write in your own way some you can by heart some appropriate answers you can by heart but these uh, your own way answers question answers you can make point wise writing second question is what are is universal solvent why yes because many substances easily dissolve in water paniyamade sagla vastu patkan virghatat so it is called as a universal solvent third question there is no alternative to water there is no alternative to water for cleaning purpose why there is no alternative to water student water is easily available in our surrounding many substances can dissolve since it is a universal solvent therefore for bathing cleaning utensil washing purpose washing clothes water become very useful as a solvent it is become a solvent there it is cheap easily available given by nature to us it's totally free by nature rainfall but when it is come to our tap we have to pay something for that but it is easily available therefore it is said that there is no alternative to water for cleaning purpose so second wordings we can say our life is incomplete without water water complete our needs from morning to evening so i hope student you understand this two questions today as a homework you please write down these question answers question number 1 and 2 in your notebook we are not taking too much load on the same day student we take the question answers also in different parts so this two part two questions i completed today by explanation i will send written of this or you also try with your own language if possible thank you have a nice day bye bye be safe